when I started down this path, it didn't look anything like this. I've had a ton of success in cars. Thanks to my teammates, thanks to my team and a well-prepped car, I've driven everything that I could get my hands on, trying to improve as a driver, trying to be better every weekend, be faster, be more focused, be the best weapon that I could be. I've been trying to search out what it is that I love about it so much, and it comes down to this right here. When the flag drops, the bullshit stops, and that is absolutely true. Everything in your head goes away, and all that's there is the people around you, the cars in front of you, the cars behind you, and the fight. I love the fight. Every weekend, we have a chance to win. Sometimes it goes wrong, and sometimes it goes exactly how you want it to. And drivers are as diverse and different from each other as, as could be. And no matter how analytical guys get or clinical they get about driving the car well, everyone wants a car that sounds good. When you get in something that just sings, there's just nothing better. The exhaust note of a race car is intoxicating. Winding them up to 9,000 RPMs, grabbing another gear, there's just nothing better. And if you're going to get to do it, going over a blind crest into a turn with no runoff area at 120 miles an hour, so be it. If anything, it just enhances the experience and makes you want more. More corners, more braking, more accelerating, more cars, all of it. The drivers relish the challenge. Whether it's a car with aero, or a low horsepower car, or a high horsepower car with no aero, it doesn't matter. Low grip, rain, all of it. It's all a new challenge. It's all a way to improve. It's all a way to evolve. And for the crew, it's the same thing. They are racing with you. They are in the car with you. They spent the nights prepping the car, getting ready so that we can get out there and do battle. They live it just the same as we do. But sometimes we take it just a little too far. But when your skills allow you to save it from a situation that could have been really bad, there's no bigger confidence boost. You find that zone, everything clicks. You're clicking off lap times like it's nothing, passing everything you can pass. You're quick, you're precise. Everything just comes together. There is nothing like it. And when you find that middle space, you finally get to breathe. But what happens when it's over? When the ride is done, you've passed all that you can, you've gotten the results you wanted. Bigger and badder cars, of course. Trying to push yourself, trying to see what you're made of, and get as much out of the car as you possibly can, and as much out of yourself as you possibly can, in the hopes that you'll stand here, looking out on the crowd, to do it again next weekend.